Evening one and all, and thank you for joining us in the crash. As you can see, I've got with me uh, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hello. That one there. Evening, everybody. Glad you and could Carl. Good evening, everybody. And we're here in the crash for your amusement. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, basically, the, the criteria of this is, is just a, a little hangout while we do some model making, have a bit of chat and um, all that sort of stuff. Nothing, nothing major, no no fuss. Um, obviously, we can talk about what's going on in our group um, and also uh, pick out maybe some things that we've seen throughout the week or month or whatever that we um, thought we might share with you. So, this is all new to me. This is a new format of bringing this to you. So, uh, bear with us because we will make some mistakes and errors. Luckily, I was chosen to be the first one. Oh, yeah. So, we had 10 people watching just as I was saying that, and now we've got five. So, it's going to pop up now, I think, by the way. Um, scared everyone off. <laughs> yeah, uh, what can you expect with this face? So uh, let's have a quick look at the chat. Uh, obviously, there's me saying hello. Uh, we've got the Red Baron there. Hi, Red Baron. Hello, Red Baron. Uh, if uh, hello, you can put your name in, that'd be great because we probably won't remember. Well, I won't because I'm really, really bad. Um, but it'd be better to call you by your red name rather than your handle, unless that's what you want. And fine. So we've got Mikey Models. Obviously, he's there with his jaws, not jaws. Uh, we've got Mark Burgess. Hello. Hello. Evening, Mark. How are we doing? Hope you're doing well, mate. Um, glad to see us back. Thanks, Mark. Um, yes, I'm quite excited, actually, because it's, um, yeah, some quite good software. Anyway, enough of me ratting on. Uh, Frank, Frankie goes to Hobby Woods, just joined us as well. So, Oh, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Good evening. How are you doing? Um... Yes, yeah, so basically, I'm going to pick on someone, Carl. Yeah. And why don't you tell everybody what you've been up to? Uh, eating, sleeping, and drinking over Christmas and New Year. <laughs> so there's no time on the bench at that point at all. And then I went off to Spain for a week to uh, celebrate my father's 75th. So not a lot of modeling has been done. Um, however, what I am working on is the FV215B from Amusing Models. That is a ongoing build series on the YouTube channel. Uh, we are just currently working on oils, so everything's slowed down with that at the minute because you know what oils are like. They take days and days to dry. And so as a filler, I did the little, everyone's probably already seen it, the Jeep in a box. So as a little mojo builder. And so I'm going nice. back into into doing some stuff it's all stuck in there fast so we're not going to break that and of course there's there's some sort of sci-fi bill going on in the uh the model officers mess so i'm currently let me switch camera views because this software is lovely for this it's very simple and quick to switch camera views so as you can see my bench at the moment is just a mess of bits and bobs off different sprues so and um, we've got stuff like this going on so we'll just putting together bits and pieces an old pillbox obviously you can see there's some bits and bobs from old sprues and kits <clears> and <throat> bits everywhere some plastic stuff from old cake boxes and things like that and yeah just general bits and pieces insulin pens which i've sanded down and cleaned up so when they do get sprayed with paint you can't see any markings or anything like that so we plan to use some of those as well. I can't show you the main body of it because it's standing on its head at the minute with uh, wall filler in the engine bay. So if I tip it, it'll just all fall out and make a mess. So I can't show you that at the minute. But yeah, all of this will go together to make some sort of spaceship. And that's pretty much me. That's all I'm working on at the minute. Wow. You've been busy? I've been busy since I got back from Spain, yes. Yeah, like I say, I've not touched anything for like two, two and a half weeks. And then I've just had a massive splurge to get some stuff done. So Nothing like a good massive splurge I've, after the Christmas. Yeah. Anyway, on that note, Steve, what have you been up to, mate? Well, um, 
not lo lost the mojo a bit um, before Christmas and around Christmas and blah blah blah. And then I thought I would um, be a bit deconstructive and turn to the uh, bench around and uh, broke a few bits so of. Uh, <laughs> Been rebuilding that. Um, I bought a new lot of hub, hobby zone stuff and I put all that together. So now it's all good. Built a spray booth, well, upgraded my spray, spray booth, shall we say, with some bits and pieces. And yeah, so hopefully I'm going to start building again. Um, <laughs> in my um, errors of uh, moving stuff around in the shed here, I've uh, managed to um, break my airbrush so i'm putting that back in the box for now and i'm gonna think what i'm gonna do with that but um so i thought in the meantime i something that james suggested i'm gonna do a build which i'm only gonna build while we're here on online Ooh. so Ooh. i'm just gonna show you. it's only gonna be a basic build it's gonna be pretty pretty much out of the box um <clears throat> i am gonna maybe do a basic little bit of lighting in a bit very very basic so i'm going to build this ravel star trek battle cruiser nice. Ooh, nice um it's a very old kit very old kit. um it's going to be beautiful then you know the instructions are silly like this really old creamy paper and um god knows what the uh, decals are going to be like but yeah so i'm just going to i'm going to do that um it's only yeah just going to do that it's quite basic kit Nice. Cool. Well, I hope you're going to like that. I'd be interested to in watch you do that, to be honest. Huh. No, out of the box, as you said. Don't do anything too complicated. Oh, I know. I'm no, just getting back, yeah, very, get back into the swing of it. <laughs> a very basic uh, lighting if I do. Just some LEDs in the fire just to light up the um, windows. Up yeah, yeah. Cool. Just catch up with some messages. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hi, Chris. Chris says evening. Oh, it's Chris. Chris Models. Hi, Chris. Uh, just want to say thanks for having me on the show the other night. It was excellent. Thank you. Ooh, I didn't know that. I must have missed that. Mm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Red Baron said he loves your Jeep. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Um, so that's nice. Yeah, it was a good build, I've got to be honest. It's not, not the sort of scale I like, I've got to be honest, but... No, nor me. But that was a good a good idea, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we picked with this some interest with about 13 viewers a minute ago, and it's gone back down to nine. So for those that are still with us, thank you very much for being with us. Um, I'll tell you what I've been doing, really. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, <coughs> a little bit like Steve, <coughs> excuse me, frog all of a sudden. Um, a little bit like Steve, I lost my mojo big time at the end of last year. Um, some personal issues and bits and pieces cropped up. I'm not going to bore anyone with that. But, um, yeah, I, I basically came in here quite a lot and just sat and stared for ages and, and uh, wound myself up. So, um, in a way, it was good because it's made me reevaluate the bits and pieces with a mess and what I want to do and all that sort of stuff. So, again, I'm not going to bore you with that. But, obviously, as you can probably tell by today and the post going out all over the place. <laughs> I've got a little bit of kind of back. Yeah, I've gone mad. But um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So anyway, um yeah, we um I'm just gonna rattle about the, the, the mess for a minute if you don't mind. Um <laughs> we did at the end of last year we did a, a calendar and a mug. Uh a mug offer for raising some money for um my calendars on the wall, so I can't show you. Models for heroes, yes, I'm not help the heroes when I talk about. Um so thank you everyone that got involved with that. Uh, we raise a little bit of money, not a great deal, but every penny helps, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, but within that, um, when we did the calendar, that gave me the opportunity to work out what we were going to do in the mess for the year, um, which is all like, on the, the Facebook group. Um, please take a look. Um, and like um, Carl was saying, uh, the first build we're doing is uh, the uh, sci-fi build, which I'm doing a one of those Ooh. um an old kit but it is going to be added with a bit of PE as well i say a bit it's a monster amount of pe 
Um, lovely looking PE though. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Cool, gotta be honest. So, uh, yeah, so all I've done with this is literally I've got to the point where uh, the cockpit, some of the cockpit bits are ready for primer. Uh, and that's what I'm hoping to do tonight if I get the chance. Uh, prime that. I want to prime the body as well. Um, I am going to light it, which again, with the amount of PE I've got, it's, um, it's all a little bit unusual for me so the lighting i'll be totally honest even though we've got the lighting guru um <laughs> i'm still scared stiff of it so um i've avoided it a little bit but i really must crack on because um i really want to do a good job on it so yeah so that can go in the booth um what i'm going to be doing today or tonight as well is obviously just priming that's all it's gonna won't take too long um hopefully um i've got a, a little separate build that i'm doing just the crash. I don't know if you can see all of that, but it's a one seventy second trumpet kit. Um, nice, quite nice, quite quite a nice little kit. Um, it is something I've already had a little bit of a play with when I was doing the models for Heroes. Um, so I want to get that build because I have got quite a few unfinished builds. So yeah, that will become a, a crash project, um, and that's it from me. Nice. So there you go. Um, I'm going to pop on, on that screen so everyone's got a bit. Um, let me catch up with the messages quickly. Uh, Chris says a second second best Viper. Uh, yes, I agree. Concur, 100%. I don't know. I, I think they just look more sexy. I've got to be honest. It's full of electronics and the Cylons can take over. That's the problem with that one. Oh, I see. Oh, York debuffs you too. <laughs> I was just too busy looking at the pretty ladies. There were some pretty ladies. No, no, there was. <laughs> you have my full attention. So we um, we've got fourteen people watching. Thank you, Hello, for joining. Hello. Please do make a comment. Yeah, uh, say we'll hi. Comments. Um, if we don't know you, we will ask for your first name so we can address you in that respect, or we will call you by your handle, whichever you prefer. Um, oh, one other thing as well, just so others know. I um, mean, obviously, uh, we took a little bit of a hiatus with the crash. Um, lots of reasons behind that. Again, won't go into it. It's no, no big deal. No drama or anything, Just, just life. Yeah, life and mojo mostly, I think. Yeah, I think that's that sums up pretty well. So what we're hoping to do, obviously, we're going to start the year as we mean to go on. Yep. Um, obviously, one of the other things that was a bit of a bit of a, an issue to a degree was the software to be able to do this because yes. it's changed. Um, we've been playing with this for a, a couple of days and we seem, seem to like this particular format. Um, tell us what you think. Um, that would be good to know. Um, and then obviously we can develop. We haven't, as such, we've discussed how often we're going to do it. Um, nope. The original plan was to do it fortnightly. <laughs> um, we will want to chat probably after tonight um, and decide how we're going to go forward. And we will let you know Facebook page for the crash. Um, but hopefully we'll get back to where we were and uh, move forward in a. You know, much more positive light. Anyway, yes. be banging on. Uh, let's have a quick look at the messages. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so we've got uh, Plastic Monkeys here. Good evening, guys. Evening, Plastic Monkey. Evening. Nice to see you join us. Um, what else we got? Uh, Kevin Stevens is with us as well. He says, hi, guys. Um, happy you're back with the crash. Yeah, we oh, are. Thank you, Kevin. Much appreciated. I do like this format where you can put the messages up. I do like that very much. Yes. Yeah. Quite cool, isn't, it? isn't that so interactive? Yeah. It's good. We've got someone else, uh, 576 scale models. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hope all is well. Yes, we're good. We hope we'll, everything's good with you. Where are you are? Good evening. And. Well, there you go. Chris has just put a message up. If you yep. want to go for the paid version anytime, you can give us a link for a discount. 
not much but some. and he gets a bit of a kickback too there we go yeah uh, well that's it that's is something some, something i've looked at but it is quite expensive yeah uh, for a, a monthly bill for how mm. often we're likely to do this because the original crash was only going to be fortnightly but if this is successful and we're not stepping on anybody else's toes on a saturday night we may choose to do it weekly we'll see because okay. there may be a fourth joining us as well we need to have a discussion with that fourth person. yeah yeah and we've we got see. We've also got some plans for some other bits and pieces in which we're going to do, um, yes. hopefully in the future, which will bring a little bit of different content to it as well, rather than just um, some silly old blokes <laughs> fiddling with plastic. Yeah. I think I said that right in a, in a positive way. You did. <laughs> Without any yeah, fines. Anyway, yeah, so um, we'll see. Anyway, um, with all you guys watching... Um, <laughs> How was your How was your Christmas? How what how was your start to your new year on, on in the hobby? What are you up to? Tell us what you're doing because we'd love to know. Indeed. And Chris just says, that, "Yeah, no, it's not cheap. Yeah, it works nicely. You, you're not wrong there. It does work really nice. I think if it was half the price it is, then it'd be, the temptation would be much stronger. Yeah, I think the temptation is very strong. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Very strong, but yeah. we shall see. Yes, we shall see. Do not run before we can walk. So. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, <clears throat> especially with this body. Okay, so we've got a couple of comments there. We've got uh, Mark saying, to be honest, Saturday night is best for me. Um, too late finish. Best for me to late finish time at work during the week. That sounded really, really bad. Yeah. So it's down thing. If you got, I, I am on only iron brew. I'm not drinking anything else. No coffee. <laughs> yeah, I think what Mark is pretty much saying is that any other day of the week, he's at work, so it's difficult. Yes. The Saturday night is the best night for himself. Oh, yeah, that'd be a Saturday night we'll do it. And Red Baron said it'd uh, be nice if YouTube would let him stream again from his phone. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of. Yeah. There's a lot going yeah. on. Then. YouTube has really started messing around, hasn't it, most recently? The testing us. What it is? It's not, not not the platform it used to be. No, it's not. Um, okay, so okay, so again from Red Baron, he says in the first week he's finished the B seventeen and uh, and the BF one nine. Someone is really busy. Yeah. B-17 is not a small kit to finish, is it? No. No, it's not. Um... <laughs> I've just seen Chris's comment. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to avoid starting the camo on the Banny Blade from Chris. No, mm. I know that feeling, trying to hide away yeah. from something. Um, what else we got here? Frank goes to Hobbywood. Uh, he's very busy with two group builds. Um <laughs> Uh, is Revell Space Shuttle and the Hasegawa Ferrari 28GFE. Nice. Nice. Uh, uh, do -do -do -do. Plastic Monkey. Uh, just finished the 1144 submarine by Revell and started the MiG 21 by Revell with. Yeah. Um, an Edward Rebox. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not Very nice. nice. Very nice. Once, once I think once this is finished, I'll be doing a little playing in this Saturday night thing as well. Either be a P51, little Rebel 172nd, or I can't remember what the other one is. It's a German one. German one? Yeah, it's probably 109 or something like that. 
German. German. German, isn't it? Right, I'm going to try and do a little bit. 21.30, Mark. That's quite a late finish every night. I hope that's not like a 6 a.m. start. <sighs> uh, apparently, Red Baron, um, he was on a, uh, a winter break from school, so... Ah, okay, loads of time. That answers the question of, does he ever sleep? The mark. So apparently we've got 16 watching now. You've not said hello yet. Yeah, make sure you say hello. hello. We don't bite, honest. Well, Steve does. Well, he does, but he is. <laughs> He's been very quiet tonight, so it's all right. Yeah. I was going to say he's shy, but we know he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Not from those pictures. No. Anyway. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Apparently, Mark starts at ten thirty. Okay. Days a week. That's still a long day, though. That's still eleven day. hours. A very long day. I'm not doing very much here. I mean, let's do something. Do something. Jay. No, it's difficult to do stuff. And it is, to be honest. I'm sort, of, I'm sort of sitting here thinking, shall I just prime what I want to prime and not do anything else while um, while things are as they are? But I don't know. No, I'm going to try and do something. Yeah. If I can get this done to a point where I can prime that as well, that would be good too. So that's done, that's done, that's done. It's always good picking up a kit that you you started, but you can't quite remember what you did or didn't do. Yes. Yeah, that's always a help. That's why I use a pencil on most things. But anyway. Mm. Oh, that's unusual. What? Well, on... I suppose it's not. Maybe I'm just being silly. All right, the the on step three, we're already onto the propeller. I'm just like I haven't even finished the cockpit yet. <laughs> oh, it's a small plane, but really. Uh, I chose not wisely. So Red Baron is. Um, Red Baron is currently working on the Tamiya 135th M41 Walker Bulldog. Oh, nice. I've looked That's at that kit. That's a nice tank. I like That's that. A nice kit. Um, and the 1700th uh, USS Enterprise. Ooh. Oh, you nice. like mixing it up, didn't you? Mm. Oh. That one. Yeah, Mark has just uh, finished Airfix 148 Hunter. And um, currently finishing up an Airfix 172nd B25. Now, that's going to be a big piece of kit as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Definitely. And it's also working on a 1 to 100th MiG-19 for a MiG group build. Oh, very nice. And he's saying the B25 went together really well. Good. Good. It's good for an Airfix kit. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mark was just Mark's just saying that he does it eleven hour shifts. Uh, yeah, as delivery driver for John Lewis, so heavy stuff as well. Yeah, um, yeah. No, my heart goes out to you. I used to uh, yeah. do delivery for curries and wow, well, yeah. Yeah, hey, I just started start off doing that sort of stuff years and years ago. And yeah. I was a dad. Did you have cars back then, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> awesome car. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. The horse's name was Trigger. Just a barrel. Just a barrel. Oh my dear. So, what else can we put on the front of there? Uh... 
So Mark was saying he, he struggled to get the um, struggles to get the um, the amount of nose weight in, but yes, I built a one forty eighth um, Catalina, and I couldn't get enough nose weight in the front of the nose. Just couldn't do it. I ended up putting a, a stand on the tail just to stop it from sitting on its arse. And I put a lot of lead shot in the front of it, like, and it still wouldn't sit down. You'd think they'd design them a little bit better, so there's a little bit less weight in the back. It just it's, it seems like, it's quite difficult. It seems like a, a basic fundamental, doesn't it, really? It does, yeah, but I can imagine it's not easy. Can you hear my compressor, by the way? Yes. Right. No, can't now. No? No. Oh, okay. Cool. Can really. Can really. Pardon? You can really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, use liquid gravity. What's liquid gravity? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Mark is saying he's used liquid gravity in it. Oh, okay. Is that like um I think I like Hello. No, I think I've heard of that stuff. No, oh, okay. Red Baron says he's got a picture of one that's got an actual tail stand in order to hold it up. Yeah, right. Uh Kevin Stevens has said he lost his mojo totally over December. I think all three of us know that feeling. Yeah. Uh, so he's coming back now. December's uh, coming back now. So finishing December's build. He's finished painting about twenty minutes ago. So he's decaling tomorrow. Whoop whoop. Cool. Yeah. What was it you were building, Kevin, over Christmas? Uh, over the December period, uh, was that uh, a one seventy second? Was that the one seventy second jet for the the uh, the group build we did? Or I can't remember. Um, okay, so Mark's just said the, the little one, 100th MIG, is made by Tamiya, and they include steel balls for the nose. Oh, oh right, okay. Now, that's that's a good, good thing. Yeah. Oh, you've got the problem. Yeah, and they know exactly how much weight you need. Yeah, absolutely. Made by Deluxe Materials, very fine lead shot. Very good. Okay, interesting. Let's make a mental note of that. That's a Google, isn't it? Okay, Red Baron's saying his Edward P39 kit came with nose weight as well. I don't think I've ever had a kit that came with nose weight. No. Interesting. Yes, yeah, normally they tell you the amount to put, and that's it, don't they? Uh. Where are you reading your messages from, Carl? On the on the YouTube, on YouTube. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there's a bit of a lag. There's about a 15 second lag for it to come through to Streamyard, so I've put the the stream on so we can see it as it comes in. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, Mark saying that uh, deluxe materials pours like water. I suppose that's why they call it liquid. Liquid gravity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine's a pipe, please, Mark. Oh, yeah, now I'll have uh, a gin tonic. <laughs> wow. I'm still in the Christmas spirit, to be fair. Is it time for a gin? Yeah. yeah, my gut thinks it's still Christmas. I need to cut it out. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm finally talking about the Christmas stuff to win. You gave me an idea. Do, 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 do. Did you hear the sound of breaking glass? Are you looking it up now, are you? Um, yeah, I've actually made a I made a note on Google. Yeah. Um, because I'm going to forget that. Um, so yeah, it looks that looks pretty cool actually. I think that might be a must to have on the bench just in case.
we like little tips like that. Mm. Yeah. Most definitely. Mm. That's what it's all about. Sharing the knowledge. Sharing the knowledge. As you pour it, are you pouring it at the same time? What was that, Steve? The liquid gravity, as you're pouring it, are you weighing it at the same time? Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I guess you would put it into a... They, they can't say how much um, weight. So, Mark, when you come back from the, your Why beverage do you, run... Do you do it just by... When Mark comes back from his be beverage run, we'll ask him. Yes. <coughs> right, what I'm going to do, if you don't mind... I'm going to primer over these bits, so I'm going to turn my mic off. <laughs> okay. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just pretty much post. I don't think I'm going to build anything. What are you priming the, uh, the Viper? Yeah, I want. Well, I want to prime up the bit of PE and stuff that I've got. Yeah. Um, and while I've got primer in there, I'll, I'll just do the outside of the Viper as well. Well, the inside and the outside. Both sides of the Press off, you see. That was my thinking. Mm -hmm. Right, back in a moment. See you in a moment. Oh, someone's just switched off. What we mm. were thinking, Mark, is when you're pouring mm. that liquid stuff, how do you know how much weight you're putting in? Bless you. Mm -hmm. God, this stuff takes so long to dry. There is quite a long delay between what oh, we're, well, we're actually speaking and actually coming through. So, yeah. ah, there we go. He's measured it out using digital kitchen scales, so you know which weight you're getting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. Up there for thinking, see? Right. Oh, dear. So we know so what you've got something built. in your head that you are. Uh... Go on. The, for this. No, it's huh? completely random. For this? Yeah. No, it's completely random. So you, you got a lot of uh, a thing in your head that... Nope. Nothing at all. Just stick bits together and see what we end up with. It might look absolute garbage. It might look okay. Totally ad libbing it. Yes. Yeah. Just stick bits to plastic. Stick bits That's together and see what. Garbage. We also looks like that. So, should be interesting. Should be interesting what we end up with. Like I say, I can't show you the main, the main body. It's only going to be about. Oh, how long is that? How big is that? Yeah, it's going to be just shy of a foot long. Probably about yay big. About yay wide. Yeah. So it's not going to be a huge thing, but the how it seems to be coming together at the moment, you'd class it as probably either frigate or destroyer size. Somewhere oh, between the two. So we shall see okay. how it comes out. 
obviously every time I look at scratch builds that are either on YouTube or Facebook and you look at them where before they're painted and you think oh my dear what an absolute bloody mess and then you prime it <laughs> yeah. and you think, actually, actually that's pretty damn smart yeah, it's not just prime that it's only come together, is it? Yeah, yeah. As soon as you put that primer on and you hide all the different colours and types of plastic and it actually starts to look reasonably yeah. decent. So, we shall see. Good. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Chris was uh, someone on this show the other night had done a scratch build out of a ping pong ball literally taking a ping pong ball and put something together and it looked fantastic it's like a little robot it's really really good can't remember the person's name now oh, my feet's gone very jerky yeah, that could be yeah it seems to have yeah <laughs> i'm sure it'll pick back up someone in the house is checking facebook yeah, probably my thought was on something. Yeah. Mind you saying that, I've got a laptop running on a, on a um, now TV running out here as well as a computer. Nah, nah. Probably for me. So actually, I could actually turn that off. Mm -hmm. We switched off now TV. We got rid of it. Never really what? watched it. We used to have Now TV, but got rid of it. Never really watched it. I use it out here, um, so I can just walk. Yeah. So Red Baron's asking, what would be the best approach to weathering U.S. armor? Not much of a tank person. So there's <laughs> the, oh, weathering comes down to how old's the tank, where's it serving, how dirty do you want it to be, how beat up do you want it to be. It's a very open-ended question. The FV I'm building at the moment, I can show you the, the turret. So here's the FV I'm building at the minute. And this is going to be hardly weathered at all. It's going to be shaded with some oils. I'll show you the shading effect I'm going for on the barrel because this is already done here. So you've got that black bit of shading wherever there's a joint or a seam here this oil is all nice and dry now and a bit of black staining on the end so i'm going to do the rest of this tank like that and then i'm going to use a very thin enamel wash with a bit of buff to me a buff xf oh what is it it's around the 40s early 50s i think can't remember with a tiny little bit of XF buff and a little bit of soap in it and it's going to make it look like it's slightly sandy dusty and that's the effect i'm going for i'm putting no mud on it um so yeah that, that's the effect i'm going for with this one but like i say if you're going to have a tank that's been um <clears throat> world war ii and it's been in Eastern Germany in the middle of summer. Again, it's just going to be dusty. But if it's like winter, it's going to be icy, wet. Or if it's like spring, it's going to be covered in mud and dirt and filth and all sorts. So it's pretty much how you want to paint that model. Or you want the effect that you want it to look like. There's heaps of different videos on YouTube of uh, different weathering techniques. So it's pretty much take a look around, see what you like and try and duplicate it night shift on youtube is very good for some of the, his weathering techniques are superb i'm following some of them on this bill. so yeah he's worthwhile going to take a look at so other than that yeah it's it's free reign do whatever you want to do i hope that helps yeah so I've not, I'm not, into, I've not done armor or anything like that, so I've no idea. Yeah, I've got a DR9 to build at some point. But... I've got a Diggler digger to do, a little version of the DR9, which I got at Telford a couple yeah. of years ago. So yeah, yeah I got to I to Say again, Steve. 
Yeah, I got my, the one I've got in for about um, a year ago now. Yeah. Yes, a year ago. Surprised you're not doing nothing for the sci fi build. Well, I'm thinking I could put, actually put this in the sci fi build, couldn't I? You could do. Absolutely. Mark's just saying that your feed, Steve, seems a, a yeah. little bit tricky. Yeah. 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 I think it's down to my crack computer. Ah, uh, okay. No worries. Um, yeah, and Kevin said, uh, yeah, it's the he was working in December on his 172nd jet build, which was a oh, Tanger yeah. FA-18 Hornet. Yes, Mark. Panzermeister 36 is also very, very good. I'm sub sub to that guy. He's, yeah, he's very good as well. Well worth a, a subscription and a watch. And search through his back catalogue because he's got some very, very good stuff. Likes his Stugs, I believe. Who else out there is, does armour that's pretty good? I'd have to look at my list of who I'm subscribed to because there's loads of folks. Loads of really, really good folks that are good at armour. Andy's Hobby Headquarters, worthwhile taking a look at as well. Yeah. He doesn't do a huge amount of weathering, but he's, he's, the, the stuff he does do is very good. In fact, he's just released a video yeah, yesterday, I think it was. And I'm thinking of getting this kit as well. It's the Tacon Panzer 1. Brand new uh, moulds and all the rest of it in 1 16th. So if you've not watched his video on that yet, go take a look. It's a lovely looking kit and it's huge. It's about this big. And it's only about it's somewhere between 40 and 50 quid for a 116th model. Wow, really? Yeah. So I had a quick look on eBay and they were going for like 40, 45 quid. For attack on Panzer 1, 1 16th. So yeah, and his hobby headquarters. Go take a look at it. It's a lovely thing. Not a massive amount of detail, but it's it's very nice. It's a uh, track and pin, uh, link and pin tracks, should I say, as well, all plastic. So, yeah, very nice. Worth a look. What else do we watch? Brett G. Brett G is very good. <clears throat> he does some really good instructive videos as well. Excuse me. Yeah, there's loads of folks. Loads of folks. Some good stuff on eModels UK. From uh, Shane Smythe as well. Yep. Yeah, Shane Smythe. If you're into figure painting, he's definitely the guy to go to. I've watched loads of his videos and I still can't paint faces. Yeah. You've also got the likes of International Scale Modeler. If you'd have to look through Paul's old back catalogue to see some of his armour work, because he doesn't do armour anymore. And you've also got um, Flory Models. He does some good stuff as well. Yeah. Loads of folks out there. Uh, Hamilcar Barkas. Some of you might not know him. He does some good stuff as well. So, yeah, Helgen35 doesn't do YouTube anymore, but some of his old stuff is very, very good as well. Hints and tips on how to do different pieces. And Mark is, Mark is just saying that um, Skeleton and Plasma, um, yes, more for aircraft. Yeah. And also, Dad's in the house. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Good to see you. We haven't spoken since uh, before Christmas. And we've lost Steve. Oh dear. That might be why he started jerking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing with this. If we do open it up to have guests and things like that, we're limited to is it six people in the stream at once? Yes. Yeah. So I'm just looking through my list here. There's there's loads it's way too many to, <laughs> to mention on here. Uh, loads of people making models again. 
very good as well. But again, he doesn't do any YouTube videos anymore. No, there's quite a few that have stopped, isn't there? Yeah. Model Chili. I don't know if anyone's uh, watches Model Chili, but some of his Star Wars and Star Trek stuff is absolutely fantastic. Model Chili? Yeah, Model Chili scale models. I think I subscribed to him when he got something like 500 subs. And he's on he's on quite a, quite a lot now. Yeah, he's on 38,000 subs at the minute. Just a few. And, of course, and then, of course, you've got the likes of Mr. Fox, Model Making Guru. If you, very, very well explained hints and tips and tricks on there as well. There's loads of stuff. Mr. Loth's Model Making, Motti's Military Models. Loads of people. Mr. Mike, Hobby. Uh, Mr. Mini Dreams, Nevbo. Loads of people. Like I said, Night Shift. Non prolific 135th scale model builder. Again, another very good builder. I think the, the most recent one, Night Shift for me. Um, yes. His videos are, are very well made. Yes. that He's got the perfect right amount of humor in there and obviously very, very talented, talented model maker. So I'm not jealous at all. No, not at all. No. Kid. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there's loads, loads, and and I'm probably subscribed to something like one percent of the amount of people that do modeling stuff. Yeah, there's loads more out there. Yeah. So I've primed up my bits and pieces, and uh, I've turned the compressor off. Happy days. And I try and do a little bit of model making while keeping an eye on things as well. Uh, Nineteen or oh, eighteen just gone down, and eighteen people. Are watching well done guys you've been here for uh, about 48 minutes in all must be mad first, first <laughs> one of this year uh steve is with us as well well not right now but he will be back uh he's lost his mic and camera at the moment so yeah you uh, will you need to drag him back in then ah uh? once he rejoins don't forget you'll need to bring him yes back, yeah yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just send him a message that's why i know yeah. that yeah, don't, don't leave him sitting there for two hours like he did to me. Poor me. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> such a prima, honestly. <laughs> such, such a prima donna. Wow. They're your words, not mine. I, I wouldn't say something like that. Yeah, you would. Wow. Anyway. Not, not in a way in which you'd know. Anyway, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mister. I did say, indeed say, Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox, I think he was about the third person I subscribed to on YouTube. So I think it was Helgen35 was the first person I really started watching on YouTube. And I actually created a YouTube account in order to subscribe. Then I found Paul on ISM. And then Mr. Fox. And then it just it just grew from there. And it was uh, Tony at Helgen35 that said, Go on, make a YouTube channel. So I did. <laughs> so he's to blame. So, so he is to blame. So if you ever see him, sort him out. <laughs> so yeah, I've noticed in your post in the officer's mess the other day about the YouTube channel. So I can't remember the name of the guy who posted that he doesn't have a YouTube channel because he doesn't think he could do it. Yes, Duncan. So I thought exactly the same thing. All you need, Duncan, is a camera, something to record it with, and just sit there and talk about what you're doing. Even if you do it in one take and then just upload it to YouTube, it's as simple as that. If people don't like it, hey, that's their problem. But you, you'll find most of the time that people... If they need that bit of information that you've got, they'll thank you for it. Yeah, they'll be grateful. Absolutely. So, yeah. And you, the hardest part is sitting there talking to yourself because it's a little bit weird to start off with. Well, it sounds so like we're sitting here in a, in, a, in a hangout, so we pretty much talk to each other. But when you're, it's just you and the camera and you're doing what you do and you're talking, it's, it's a little bit weird. That's why I don't talk much on my videos. There you go. Red Baron modeling. He just uses his phone. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. I used a DSLR camera to start off with because 
my goal sitting in a bag because I used to be into photography. But uh, yeah, and from there on, I just bought one of these, a cheap camcorder. And that's what I record all my videos on, is that. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm here. I, I use it. I think you pick these up for less than £100 now. Yeah. So that's, that's it's still quite expensive. But hey, don't forget, YouTube pays out a fortune for making videos. <laughs> yeah i mean it's, it's a similar sort of thing for me you know i the, yeah. the reason i i started down the roads i started was um i basically got involved in a, a 48 hour group build with yep. um paul and mm -hmm. dragon yes um really really enjoyed it and and just went off on a tangent um and thought i can i could do some bits and pieces i concentrate a lot on um show reports so reports of model shows yeah. around the world and uh, steve is back um hi steve um yeah, so I, I concentrated to start with, with um, mainly just some pictures of some shows I've been to um, and a little explanation to people of what there is out there, really. And I've, I've asked people that um, around the world that have gone to shows to if it's all right to share their, their images. Uh, obviously, I credit them for them uh, because it's not my work, but it gives us a good, good clue of what there is out there. Yeah, and then from that, um, I wanted to do a competition, which then made the, the Facebook page. Yeah, um, and then from there, uh, yeah, I've gone mad really. <laughs> People have asked me to do the odd video here and there, and yes, um, you know, it, it is a bit strange to start with. I never thought I would be doing it, no, nope, um, me neither. But if you if you've got the inkling to try. Give it a go. Don't, don't yeah. dismiss it. Just give it a go. Because the don't same like thing, it, right? if I'm honest, it's no different to any of the model making in which we do. No. You know, there are some parts of the model model <clears throat> community, like for some figure painting or ships or whatever, um, that, that people run away from because they're scared of it. Don't, yeah. don't it. just embrace it. Your model is your thing. Yeah. Enjoy it. Get the pleasure out of it that you want. Yeah. So Mike is saying that, Carl, I don't want to start you with a cold sweat, but has the one night Itelary back in the box as Kenneth has nearly finished his. Yes, my one night scale Itelary bike is back in the box. The build is as good as complete. Um, I put it back in the box because that was what pretty much killed my mojo last year. So the, the intent is once I've finished the FE, that will come back out of the box and get painted and completed and sent off to its owner because i'm building it for a friend so and the indiana jones hat is still here we've still got that so that'll be mounted on the bike somewhere so that was designed and printed well designed by my eldest and printed on shapeways so little one night scale fedora that's quite cool yeah so, so yes that will be finished this year but at the moment it is back in the box so tell kenneth he beat me <laughs> so michael's just part of there that he uses something similar for his videos uh but he's recently upgraded to a 4k panasonic oh very nice yes indeed very nice very nice yeah there you go chris saying he, he only records on an iphone as well so you don't need anything fancy yeah, Apple. Yeah, I started. I started on the uh, using iPhones. A lot of the stuff in which I I do at shows, I use iPhones. The pictures and the and the video as well. So you know. Yeah. yeah. So Red Baron's just stated, how would he share that with you for his club that does a show once a year? Oh. Well, it's funny you should ask that. Yep. <laughs> uh, it just so happens. Um, there are a couple of ways in which we can do that. Basically, first thing I will say is um, I do do a page called Something Through the Weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, 
it is purely there for people to um, be able to give a shout out for model shows that are coming up. Um, so I do do some posts. I try and, I've tried this year a slightly different format, which is throwing me quite a bit. Um, whereas I used to always do it on the Friday before the weekend. Now I'm trying to give a week's in, in advance notice of what's coming up. Um, so uh, that's a Facebook group. I say something for the weekend. Look it up. And uh, I just put a little link in the chat for the uh, Facebook group. Something for the weekend. Yeah, so you can join that if it's in regards to the pictures. If you want to share any pictures of a show, um, and so we can make that into um, a a a video of a, what a show report. Sorry, struggling for my own words. Yeah, uh, if you want me to make a show report of a show in which you've been to and you take some pictures of, um, that's really simple. All you need mm -hmm. to do is just drop me a, a, a personal message saying I'm going to this show um i've got some pictures blah 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 yeah um and then I've done it. We no, will, done. we'll figure a way in which the pictures will either be um sent to me or um put up in uh, maybe in the mess in a photo album or something um, there are different ways in which we can do it and then what i do is i quickly make a little video uh of a montage of the photos you provide uh with your name credited to it a shout out to you or your group or both um and that way uh we, we get the video in there yeah one gets to see i can hear yeah. you chuckling in the background yeah a couple of couple of things uh, mark has come on and said if you want to sub to his channel don't look on this one here he's got a channel called mark's modeling ramblings right okay mark there's a couple of things i'm going to say there first is in making models totally scale models and your model officer's mess that is in the in the announcement section there is a place where you can go and post the link to your youtube channel so pop along there post it in all three and i'm sure some people will uh, find you that way now what i was giggling at was kenneth has just come in and says uh, hello carl i started building the itelary one night motorbike kit and i think i deserve an apology from you because you tricked me and made it look fun <laughs> yeah. now the thing is first and foremost kenneth sorry secondly you only get to see the bits that i put into the actual episode you don't see all the bits or the hours and hours and hours that i actually have to cut out <laughs> so yes i am i apologize from the bottom in my heart <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. I do apologize, Ken. I've never done anything to hurt anyone. I don't <laughs> yeah. I, there are, unfortunately, there will be some kits out there that will uh, yes. <laughs> feel that way. When the kit arrived and I opened the box and I saw the size of it, I thought, oh, this is going to be nice because it's it's a nice big kit. It's big pieces. How could it possibly ever go wrong? Yeah. But there, the fit, That was the mistake right there. Yeah. Yeah. The fit is horrendous. The instructions are good but they're not very clear in parts so yeah you do i ended up gluing bits together and having to break them to get them apart to put them back together again the right way some parts <laughs> i glued together and i had to leave as they were and fudge it to make it fit fudge especially, it. yeah especially around the engine parts some of the pipe work do, do you mean scratch build no i mean fudge it <laughs> <laughs> So yes, Kenneth, I, I sincerely I do apologize. I think once it's finished, it's gonna it'd be a lovely looking kit. There was someone that built one a while back. I can't remember who it was, and it looked absolutely phenomenal once it was all painted up and weathered. So yeah, I think the end result is gonna be worthwhile. All that pain and everything will be worthwhile. Oh, we've got Dave in from Butcher That Model. Hi Dave, I never saw you uh coming there. And again, he uses a Logitech C180 that uh, Mike gave to him. So, yeah. So, there we go. So, there's 20 of you watching. Please make sure you put a comment in the chat. Uh, come on, interact with us. Tell us what you're up to. Tell us what's on your bench. Um, you may be sat there in the front room with your headphones on, trying to ignore come dance with me or whatever else he's on <laughs> did um, we lose steve again <laughs> yeah oh steve's back um i've been watching i have i promise all right steve steve <laughs> thanks kenneth 
your your mic still <laughs> got an issue, Steve. Yeah. Oh dear. You know, Kenneth, I did have a horrible sensation of pins and needles on quite a few occasions. Yeah, don't throw it out of the top window, whatever you do. Oh dear, Steve's having some serious problems, isn't he? Oh dear. Just sent you a message, Steve. Okay, so yeah, Steve hopefully get himself sorted out so. Yeah, hopefully. Yes, well it does very much sound like he's gurgling, doesn't it? Oh we've got Sky in. Hi Scott. Are we doing well, buddy? How's the weather up in uh, sunny Shetland? Hey Scott. Steve, your mic is is absolutely ghost. Not working. No, I can't make out anything you're saying at all. Oh. Oh. I do like that thing where you can highlight a text, a message. Yeah, it's very clever. I am loving it. It's, it's disturbing what I'm trying to do, but it's very good. Why is it making? Why is Mark's all of Mark's comments coming up as need to be approved? Uh, He's not putting any links or anything like that. It's uh, very strange. Very strange. Anyways, dog has decided to join him on the sofa. He's now leaning on his arm, making the typing hard. Yes. Shit, now Shetland. It's not Orkney. It upsets them, Mike. Shh. <laughs> That's like so it's the same as like anyone from uh, Holland, anyone from Belgium. I call it Dutch because that upsets them immensely as well. I used to have quite a few Belgian friends, and I always called them Dutch. It's uh, quite funny to watch, actually. Anyway, oh, we've lost Steve again. He's gone. Yeah, no, I, um, yeah. Unfortunately, he's having terrible te technical problems. Yeah. Um, it was perfectly fine when he when we kicked it off. Yeah, and then I someone, know, someone I noticed why it's suddenly become a problem, but yeah. Oh well, hopefully he gets his sword and gets back in. So you got a message there, Carl, from um I'm really terrible with first names, sorry, uh butcher that model. That's so, Dave. Um, oh Dave, right, okay. Yeah. Uh I've got Carl, he's just started the new Yes. I thought I said that Scott was I asked Scott how how the weather up is in Shetland. Scott doesn't live in Shetland, Scott lives in Orkney. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got your um, puffin downstairs. He's in private place with the the wife's teddies. So, and apparently it's wet and windy. Yeah, it's very much like that here as well. Yeah, there. we've got some on the Aberdeen. We got some a cold snap coming our way too down here. Down mm -hmm. here, that's, that's soft soft southerners. Yeah, it's not going to be long till the snow starts. I think it's starting to get that way. Well, that's cheered me up. <laughs> Be right back. Yeah, I do keep clicking approve, Mark. So I don't know what's going on. Whether that. Oh. oh. What? I just kicked you out for a minute. I'm so sorry. No, oh, kick me I'm out. There. You are there. I just. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got to nip out to, out of my nose. He's gone. Um, <laughs> He's gone all power hungry. Screen as you were talking, and then uh, removed from the stream. Okay. So sorry, okay. About that. only not only Steve with technical issues. Like this, I have as well. Cat fingers. So you do want to leave me on my Jack Jones? No, I'm not leaving you on your Jack Jones. I'm just powdering the nose. Have you got enough powder? I don't know. The wife's doing it for me. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, 
So what's everyone's plans for the year? Have they got any big projects they're looking to do? Or what are their plans for future builds for this year? Me, I've got a long-term project coming up where I am going to be building something for the model officer's diorama year build. Uh, where I'm going to take inspiration from what was the name of it now? I'll ask James when he comes back, but it's a camp scene from a film. Uh, I can't remember the name of the film. What's it made? Didn't do it. What's the name of that film I'm going to do my dio for? Remember, we were talking about it the other the last yes. week, I think it was. Uh, yes, Kelly's Heroes, wasn't it? Yes, that's it, Kelly's yeah. Heroes. Kelly's Heroes, one of the scenes in the movie has a big campsite where they've got the a couple oh. of Shermans close together and they've got like bivouacs up against them and they've got a big campsite and all the rest of it. So I'm not going to be doing that, but I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to be doing it with two tanks. There will be a scimitar and a scorpion Ooh. in the campsite with a bivouac. And there will be one, two, three, possibly four soldiers in that campsite. And it will be my father uh, and three of his friends from his regiment, which was 15th, 16th Lancers. And they actually drove the Scimitar and the Scorpion in active duty in a couple of different places. So that is what I'm going to do for my diorama build this year. That's going to be my big project this year. That's going to be ice. So, yeah, it's going to be quite a long dio. So it's going to be like A4, double A4 size in length, long ways, and A4 size width. So that's going to be my big project this year. So do you think, now I've not said this to you before, so forgive me. Um, but do you think because it's a long build and because of the subject matter, are you likely to make that into a video? Um, or you've not thought about that? I've not thought about that yet because I'll probably, I will probably do it more along the lines of a bench update, right? Okay, and have a build alongside it because it's, I think it's going to be one of those builds that will probably be quite frustrating at times, so you'll yeah. need to step away from it, yeah, yeah, because you want to get it right and not just brush and bodge through it, yeah. So I'll probably still do I'll probably do other build series on the channel, but have that as like a, a monthly update of progress, yeah. so to speak. I think. Well, that's the that's the aim of, of that particular yeah. build, isn't it? Is to 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 allow you to spend as much time as you want on it, really. Yeah. Um so yeah, um yeah. it just popped into my head as we were talking, that's all. Yeah. So Mark is saying, really uh, sorry for being a pain. Not really, Mark. No, I think it's just popping up for me because I don't think any. I don't think you've seen that, have you, in the chat? I, I've not had any warnings from anything. Yeah. So, I, I find that really weird. So Mark is saying he really needs to finish his wing wings junkers D one. Oh, I'd like to see some pictures of that. Yeah. Share them up on the on the on the groups. Uh, Red Baron Modeling is currently trying to build the interiors to his 1700th Academy Enterprise from scratch. Wow. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's impressive. Yeah, and Mark is also trying to finish some of the other models he started and shelved. Yes, we we're all trying to do that one, I think. Yeah. Uh, 5760 scale models. I can't remember your name. Sorry. He's hoping to build a, my first aircraft and diorama. Oh, planning on doing a Lancaster being resupplied. Ooh, nice. What scale is that? That would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth is saying, I want to run a Kickstarter to buy back all of the artillery one night, BMW motorbikes with no sidecar kits in the world and then destroy them so that they can't do any more. <laughs> can't do any more harm to model builders. <laughs> You're just not going to let me. No, not going to let me off the hook lightly, are you, Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> so Mark is saying, talking of dioramas, is anyone familiar with Bjorn Jacobson's work? Uh, no. Not by name. No. Let me, I'm going to Google that because I do yeah. like dioramas, so bear with me. Yeah. It, uh, 5760 scale model saying it's 172nd. 
That's still quite large, though. Yeah. Uh, well, right. Where was that name? Uh, it on. is Baron Jacobson. No, sorry, Bjorn Jacobson. Spelt Jacobson. I don't know, it's Jacobson, I believe. I've got it on. The, that's why I can't find it. It's on the screen. Silly Billy. Uh, oh, Frankie's saying he tries to build cars as much as he can, not motorbikes or sidecars, just cars. <laughs> Oh dear, because I'm invited to show his builds for the first time on a model car exhibition this year. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice, Frankie. Um, Very nice indeed. So, and Mark has promised myself no new kits for at least six months. I keep saying that, Mark. Uh, yeah. yeah, I am aware yeah. of this. As a New Year's resolution, and he's got a Mini R SU one two two arriving. Uh, arrived yesterday, so he's failed already. Yeah, and Chris has typed "oops" something. I don't know what. Yeah, the the gentleman beyond. Um, you will we all know who that is. Uh, if you remember, um, there was a, a book that went out, um, the complete guide to military dioramas and models, uh, and he does. Um, a typhoon attacking German panzers. Uh -huh. um, and uh, one of the other ones is um, uh, a plane attacking some um, jugs, which are the 57s. <laughs> are they big jugs? They are a couple of pair of... They're not well, milk jugs, are they? A couple of pair, yeah. Well, any, but within that... <laughs> I'm going to avoid it. You're not going to get me. Um Within that diorama, he's used an explosion and lighting. Yes, I think I do know that yeah, one. I, I know you all know him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, he's he's a very, very good builder. Very, very good. Um, Excellent. So Simon has joined us. Evening, Simon. That's Sim Farmer. If you like your Sim Farmers, go and uh, subscribe to uh, Simon over at Sim Farmer because he does some superb time-lapse videos of playing that. He does indeed. Okay, yeah, nice little plug for Simon there. And uh, so, that just said uh, space shuttle build is getting there. Yeah. Um, what What about the lunar module, Mike? Where's that? I've not seen anything come up from your channel for a while. Don't tell me YouTube's playing up again. Not surprised. YouTube last year, I think, unsubscribed me from like about five or six different channels. I think it had a, thin, a thinning out, didn't it? Yeah, and I don't know why it did it. If you didn't use it, if you didn't go on channel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you've only done up to part two, Mike. Come on, we want to see that Lunar Lander finished. So Mike has just finished. Um, yeah, mate, I understand that, Mike. A mid-air between a B-17 and an ME-109. Yeah. What scale was that, Carl? What's that? Sorry. The, the B17 109. Did you say you'd seen it? From um, Mark? No. 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 What scale was that, Mark? Tell us. Um, apparently, Mark. The, the book that I mentioned there for the dioramas costs eight, about £80. Wow. That's an expensive book. That is an expensive book. Wow. So Mike's saying that the, the lunar module is actually, the lunar lander has actually drained him. Yeah, I understand that perfectly well. Oh, yeah. Uh, just put, and Red Baron is saying, just put my Dremel to my hull to open doors. So be careful. There we go. It's just popped up again. This message is held for review, Mark Burgess. So I don't, know why, it's, don't know why it's doing that for me. No. So I click show and then it all becomes very strange. So we've got Vincent to join us, Mr. Loth's model making. Evening, Vincent. Hope you're all right. Evening, Vincent. Uh, Frankie goes to Hollywood and saying, feeling better now. Mike solved some problems doing the paint job next and waiting for the aftermarket decals. So, there you go. Cool. 22 people watching now. Please make sure you say hi. Get involved with the chat. Tell us what you're up to. 
etc etc steve has got technical problems this evening he is managing to uh boot the computer around the garden I think that's the only <laughs> um yeah bless him so yeah so, we're just me and carl unfortunately but hey we shall do our best i'm a bit of a loose end at the moment i don't know what to do next i'm waiting for things to to dry i can't really do much more until that main section is dry right because uh, it means moving stuff and tilting stuff ah okay, okay. so it's this bit let me get this camera off here. this bit here can you see that it's upside down probably that bit hang on, hang on. let me yeah let's spin that around this bit here so that's the main body and well, I don't want to tilt it too much because that stuff in there is still wet. So that's the back end and that's the engine. So imagine on its side, that's the top there. And this section here, this bit, is going to be mounted on the side like so. Yeah. And then there'll be other bits and pieces on there dotted about. He's a clever boy, isn't he, eh? Who? You. What? You're a clever thick boy. As, thick as mince me. <laughs> oh, me wires and everything gone I'm, I'm, you know. I'm enjoying watching you do it. I do like a bit of scratch building, and I'll be honest, that uh, there's been a few scratch built spaceships and bits and pieces that I just like that. Yeah, that scares me. Uh, Steve's in the chat yeah, and uh, yeah. expressing his frustration in that computer. What I want to say is, how can you find scratch building scary and stuff you scratch built last year? Um, and the year before. The problem is, I think with most things, Carl, is that um, if you have an idea or something, um, <clears throat> vision isn't quite the right word but if you've got like an outline of what you want to achieve yes the scratch build is fairly easy like for example if you're scratch building a wooden box you know what you in your mind's eye you know exactly what it's going to look like so it, yes it's fairly simple whereas what you're doing with your scratch building is is that is all of your imagination um and and in in your i'm guessing in your mind what initially was in your mind isn't necessarily what it is now or what it will be at the end no because you know what the initial design was yes was these that, that's what i mean by it. i mean i, I still get scared at, 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 at techniques and bits and pieces i've already i've already done and i know i can do them I can yeah them. so this was the original idea this was going to be some sort of cylinder yeah and then we would add greeblies and bits and protrusions from that. But the high, the uh, the Heinz mayonnaise jar came along as empty, so I washed it out and cleaned it. And then this top section here mm. came along from. I said this on Chris's show the other night. This is from the, you know, the curry two-part mixes where you get like a sauce and then a powder in the top. This yep. is the bit that held the powder. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the, in the insulin needle caps, the insulin pen lid, and then another insulin needle cap on top. And that's all it is, it's just all stuck together. And so obviously, this will be painted black and then silvers and burnished or something like that to look like engines, basically. And then we got, this is probably going to end up being something like the, the main bridge, bridge module on the side of it. And then I've got these that I'm hoping I can fit on the side of it. They look like little launch bays. Uh -huh. So we'll have these either in a, in a row or stacked uh -huh. down, down the other side. And then we've got my insulin pens that hopefully I can mount on the side as well. I've got these mounts here from a tank kit. Uh -huh. Where they mount the um, thingy armor. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get these attached to this and then attached to the the side of the kit. So, yeah. but yeah, that the idea I've got now 
was nothing that I was going to do. It was just completely, oh, that'll work. And off he went. And I just cut a load of pieces off different sprues and started gluing bits and pieces together to see what we could get. Yeah, I think, I, well, I think that's the bit that, um, I think for me, it's the bit that would make me go, oh, yeah, because I just get carried away. Yeah, so you've got an MG, it's cool. an, M, an MG mount from a tank with just two bits sticking out of it that have been a bit sprue glue in there uh -huh. to make it hold it in place. It looks like two long either antenna or guns. And again, an MG gun on a ball mount that uh -huh. goes in the tank. Just stick it, you know, because this is going to be the front front end so these will probably get stuck onto this a few double bits and pieces so yeah anyway indeed uh mark was just saying that the uh, 145th he i believe it was on the facebook group mm -hmm. um, but don't ask you which one might be out of model of modeling group yeah. Um, what else we got here? Sim Farmer. Where did you go? There we go. Uh, he's doing his first bit of modeling <laughs> this year, uh, and doing what does best start in a new kit. <laughs> <laughs> but you might finish this one, you never yeah. know. Yeah, it's just uh, you still doing that in that tank with the all the interior, Simon. I know you started that towards the end of last year. And it looked very nice. I can't remember the name of the kit. And Mike's saying at least he knows he's getting my insulin. I am indeed, but hopefully, Mike, by May, May, June, hopefully I will no longer be on insulin pants because I am hopefully moving to a pump, whoop, whoop. which will be a very big uh, quality of life change. So... We shall see. We'll watch it jump through quite a few hoops before they give it to me. So that sounds awfully like exercise. Don't like exercise. Yeah. Yeah, so Simon is still working on his uh, full interior tank, so yeah, he's still working on it. I thought he'd finished that, I'll be honest. Oh, good. Mike, Mark, Mark's going to do a, a review of the book tomorrow. Post the links up, Mark. Oh, yeah, definitely. We can watch it. But there you go. It's the Trump to 116th Panther G that Simon's doing. Very nice looking kit. I've got the tack on uh, early Panther. Yeah, full interior as well. I got that uh, a couple of years ago. Again, I don't know why we build stashes because we never get around to building them. No, something else always comes along and yeah, interesting, isn't it? So, hey ho! I suppose it's part of the hobby, really, isn't it? Uh, building a stash. It's another aspect of the hobby. I think it's just the sheer case of. Like children in a sweet shop. Yeah, yeah. It's for me. Old, old children in a sweet shop. Oh, no, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah, Simon's saying uh, he only needs to finish one kit this year to outdo last year. Woo! <laughs> wow. We'll hold you to that, Simon. Yeah, we shall be watching. Yes. Through your, through your letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you're lucky. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Steve's going to manage to get back with his computer problems. No. Which is a bit no, not tonight. So still 16 people watching. Well done, guys. Um, if that's the 16 original people that started here, good for you. There we go. Grant oh. is a 5760 model, and that is Grant, just so we don't forget Grant, okay. Write that down, Carl, because I will forget. Yes, he's just posted up some links and stuff to his YouTube channel. <coughs> oh, lovely. In the, in the mess, so go along and sub. I think I did it earlier on today. I certainly will do that. I'm going to double-check that right now. 
No, it didn't. So that is it. It's done. I tell you what did surprise me actually when I put that link up in the mess mm-hmm. um, for people's YouTube channels. There was a couple there that I looked at. I went, oh, I'm off. I've been been um, sub to them for a long time. Yeah. And again, like you said, no, wasn't. Uh, mm-hmm. and I don't know whether that's YouTube kicking people out of because they've not looked at content or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's always mm. good, good to double check. So if you see, yes. them, make sure you click on them. Make sure you subscribe to them. Give me your support because that is yeah. really what we're all about. Yep. We're each other in this lonely old hobby. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, so are you struggling at the moment? You've got bits you can't do. Yes. Yeah. So I was just going to mention that we are probably going to start hanging out a lot more regular as well. So if anyone is, would anybody be interested, anyone that's actually in here now watching, be interested in coming and joining us in off-air hangouts and stuff? Indeed. Yeah, we, can, we can always, when we do kick one in, is put the link up there in the crash and you can come along and join us. More than welcome. Absolutely. So, if you're interested, let us know. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Simon says he doesn't have a letterbox, so good luck with that. Okay, it'd be through the top window then. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring me ladder. <laughs> Don't make a mistake in the bathroom window. I told you about that last yeah. time. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do believe with... Um, this stream yard yes you can because you are pretty much following a link and it's all web based browser based so yeah. as long as you've got an internet connection i think you can do it on any platform you want because i know steve joined it the other night on his phone so yes it does yeah. work yeah, yeah it does work on a phone yeah i mean we the all three of us are pretty new to it so yes uh mike Mike saying like the good old days. I hope so, Mike. It'd be good to get some of the old crew back together, like yourself, Scott. Yeah. Um, useless with names. <laughs> he's always work on Twitch now. What's his name? Oh, you know who I mean, don't you? No. <laughs> um, he used to be with us all the time, every week. Oh, my, that's that's really bad of me. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice to, it'd like, be nice to, to, to rekindle friendship yeah. and and remember people's names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, terrible. You're not you're not thinking of Rob, is it? Rob doesn't do all stuff on Twitter. No, no, it wasn't Rob. Um, I can't think of your name. He was uh, he was either Spanish or something like that. He did uh, Stormtrooper helmets with the skulls. Yes, yes. Oh, what was his name? That's 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 absolutely terrible and disgusting of me. Absolutely terrible. No, you've got me. No, it's gone. Is it Frank? Somebody's got Frank in my head. Don't know why. I don't think it's Frank. If you go back and look at some of my old videos when we did the Mad Modelers and stuff like that, he's in there. So, terrible, terrible. That uh, Michael know his name. So um, we'll 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 skip past that for a second. Uh, Red yeah. Baron has said it's been um, nice. It'd be nice to talk into people while modelling in the house. Yeah, it is. Hangouts are great for that. It gets you to the bench and, get, and it does build your mojo, if anything else. Absolutely, that was just what I was going to say. Your mojo will, will, in theory, be a lot better. And, and those days in which, you know, you're not feeling like you can physically do something, a little bit like I'm doing tonight in a way, which is not, not the case, but um, you can still be in a hangout and not do that much. So yes. just to be able to do that little bit of relief of, um, of chatting with fellow modellers, you know, maybe a kit, a particular kit like I don't know, a one sixteen motorbike of some description has, has driven you out the wall when you need to have a break. Uh, <laughs> yes, Frankie, not Frankie, sorry, uh, Kenneth, come, <laughs> come, come, join us and build your bike. Yeah, 
Yeah. And uh, yes, Frankie, it, it is Alzheimer's. Go I, like to, I like to call it senior moments, though. <laughs> Alex. Alex Kutal. That's him. Alex. Thanks, Mike. Well done, Mike. <sighs> wow. See, yes, if, if we'd seen the message where it said it began with an A, we might have got that. Yeah, we, we'd got away with that. Yeah, we. well, I think we have, yeah. I'll, I'll watch it back later. Yeah. Can I Can I edit it out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, get that. yeah that'd be cool, Mark. Be, uh, yeah, it'd be good for you to join us. Yeah, for, well, for anyone to join us, really. So. Yeah. <sighs> Mike, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're coming up to half past nine. It's still 16 watching. Well, thank you very much, gents, for sticking with us. So. Yes. You. Uh, yeah, just an update on Steve. It would appear that uh, he's hurt his foot kicking the computer. Oh, dear. Uh, no, I'm joking. He's uh, he's still got issues, so uh, I suspect that that might be terminal for this evening, which is a real shame. Yes, yes. Hopefully we can get that sorted for next time, um, one way or another. Oh, Kenneth, you're you're, dig you're digging your own grave now. This has got nothing to do with me. Did you hear that, Mike? That's nothing to do with me. What Kenneth's just put in there. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm I'm not getting involved in that. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a message there from Steve saying that hopefully it won't be too long. Oh, good. And to uh, just keep going. So that'd be cool. Cool. So uh, it's over to Carl now. Carl's going to do um, a description of a kit by interpretive dance. Okay. Let me just change camera angle. <laughs> to a blank screen. <laughs> that's not something you want to watch. I've definitely got dad dancing down to a T. Have you? <laughs> oh, there's a challenge there. I know there is. Surely. Right, so a question for everyone that's watching. As you've, as you've been so patient and so good at sticking with us for this hour and a half, mm -hmm. for you, if you were fortunate enough to win a, an amount of money, um, doesn't have to be millions, but if you won sufficiently enough to make your life comfortable, what would be a kit in which you would want to buy? Quick one, that's Frankie away. So thanks very much, Frankie, for coming along, and we'll catch Good you night, next time. Frankie. Good night. So right, any kit? Yeah. So basically, uh, you win, you win the lottery. Like I say, it doesn't have to be a massive amount, just enough to make your life a little bit more comfortable. And there's always been a kit in which you really wanted. What would you buy? First and foremost, it would have to be quite a small win on the lottery because if it was a big win i don't think i'd carry on modeling no really i don't i don't know because there's so much to do and see if money wasn't an object okay would you find time to sit at the bench interesting hmm? i personally yes but that's because i'm a sad so -and -so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you understand what I mean, though? If, yeah, if no, no. Would, no object, would you sit on the bench or would you be about, about around the world looking at things and seeing things and experiencing I, I, life? I think if I opened that question up to my wife who's sitting the other side of a closed door, I'm sure she would tell me exactly what my answer would be. <laughs> um, yeah. But if it was a smaller win and I was to buy any kit I wanted, that's a tough one. It would definitely be science fiction. And it would probably come in a scale of 172nd. And it'd probably be like a, a circular style spaceship that uh, is in a specific film from the late 70s. <laughs> a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, it it would be the Bandai one seventy second um, Millennium Falcon. Ah. And I would buy to go along with that the Lego kit as well. The Lego kit, okay. the Lego Millennium Falcon, the new one. Oh, the the, the big one. Yes, oh, I saw someone building that the other day. That's so yeah. humongous. So, well, because that's not cheap. That's that's in the hundreds of pounds as well. Yeah, it is. You're right. So uh, Steve's answered the question. Uh, he's just said a new freaking computer. <laughs> um, Sergeant Bones has joined us. Evening, Mr. Bones. Sarge. Um, he also says that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, right, I'm just reading Mark's All the comment. Kids I've already bought. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, Dad uh, already got it, and it's the 70th monogram shuttle. Yeah, this next one's the best one. Uh, Mark Burgess, the wingnut wins Lancaster. And That's someone to build it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, then we've got Michael Johnson with a 180, oh, sorry, a 148th HPH B36. Wasn't nice. Interesting. Uh, Red Baron has gone for a, a Vans RV eight one to one scale. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh. So Steve would go for the Enterprise kit from De Burn. Yeah. Um. Mark has said here, if mm. there was no object, uh, I would pay for a modern 148th B58 Hustler kit to be made. So not for him to do it, for someone to do it. Mm. 172nd Dora, Kevin's saying. Why not go for the 135th, Kevin? Too big? And Andy said he'd have a bigger cave, so... Working well, I see. I that's a cunning, it's a cunning answer actually. If you think about it, because you can go for a small plane, uh -huh. a bigger cave, which means you can fill it with more stuff. Well, yeah, very true. Very yeah. good. Very good. Um, Mark says, speaking of the Lego, I bought the Saturn V a couple of weeks ago. Saturn V in Lego, wow, nice, that's big as well. I believe big. about three foot high, I think. Man, where the hell are you going to put? Mind you, I suppose you can sit in a corner of a room, can't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, it's not very wide. Yeah, it's just very tall. Yeah. Um, Sarge has said, um, money with no object, a 132nd scale Warhammer from Mech Warrior. Uh, Coming in a three foot tall at least. Wow. Okay. Imagine the amount of paint you'd have to buy for it, though. In those oh. little pots. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, oh, interesting. Sim Farmer has gone for a Shelby Cobra car kit. Okay, oh, kit car. I got it. I understand. It's a yeah, one yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not actually a model, but yeah, yeah, no, that's a good answer. I like that too. Would you build it yourself, Simon? No, you wouldn't. I can guarantee you wouldn't because he'd leave half it in the box. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you put, you put the internals together and then just go, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. I can't yeah. be doing that. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, Simon, that'd be a big old shelf. Um, <laughs> uh, what have we got there? So, um, Mr. Lost Model Making, uh, I'd get a HK Lancaster, the tall boy Dan Buster version, and all the aftermarket, just like the HK B17F I already have. Ooh. And I'd probably get a B17G at the same time. Mm. As a B25. Wow. Yeah, your list is a little quite long there. Mm -hmm. um, but he said then I'd end up with two more kits. I would be terrified. It would yeah. terrify him and he wouldn't build. Yeah. Terrified of the cost and the scale. Yeah. And I've got at least three kits in my stash that I am terrified to build. One's a so, sidebar or something, isn't it? Sorry? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Simon said he'd start it. Um, well, yeah, we know that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that, there's a good question for everyone. Is there a kit in your stash that you're too scared to build? Yes. Oh, yes. I like that question. So, mine is probably one of the first model kits that was ever bought to me by my eldest, and it is the 148 moving Star Wars X Wing. And I want to build it, I really do, but I'm terrified of building it because I don't want to mess it up. Terrified, a bit weird, but yeah, terrified. And yourself, James, you got one? Uh, for me, uh, well, I, I could rattle off about seven or eight of them at least. Um, well, actually, I can divide that slightly. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's uh, build. Uh, probably would be one of my HK kits, uh, which is a one thing. Yeah. And probably, um, I would say the B17 more than any of the others. I've got a couple, not many, but I have to, I do have a couple. Um, but one thing I have bought, uh, which uh, I really do love, and it's scaring the life out of me because it's on, sat on the side, um, or was sitting on the side until I hit it. Um, the um model i got just recently which is the resin figure that the elephant yes um i'm looking around because i'm trying to think because the elephant really doesn't describe it does it no no well, it does. it's an elephant in fairness <laughs> it's not just normal elephant though is it it's no it's not a normal anything no uh so yes so uh that one there yes that's the one yeah that one is scaring me quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I can divide that by two. And like I say, the actual <clears> physical, <throat> the HK B17 for me, definitely. Um, I'm, just putting, I'm just putting something on a shelf while I'm doing that. Anyway. Okay. So, do we have any? Let's have a look. My turn. <sighs> Very nice. Um, so Red Baron model making is saying that would be my MPM one forty eight Focke Wolf one eight nine. Oh, wow. uh, it's a short run kit, so it's one of those. If you mess it up, you're unlikely to get it again. Where yeah. And Simon, and Simon saying that I'm terrified of finishing any of my kits, <laughs> but he's quite okay starting them. Uh, Kenneth, I'm scared of building a one third Siri figure and a 148 scale Cheyenne dropship from Aliens. So, you're not scared about building another Italeri one ninth scale uh, motorbike and cycle, then, Kenneth? No? So, Vincent from Mr. Lost Model Making saying, My kits that terrify me are my standard version PG Falcon. He's got the green strawberry pea stuff for it and 3D printed corridor. Oh, very nice. nice. But it's mostly the scale and the, of the special effects I'm trying to achieve. Yes, the scale's quite large. So, and then Mark's saying all of his skits scare him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've missed anybody out there. No, I don't think uh, so. No, I don't think so. Oh, um, no, not that. So I was trying to catch you in the trying to catch the comments, but I lost lost track. Because yeah. we do like to show the comments; it's very nice. Yeah, and Kenneth has said, just said that yes, that's a that's a yes. He's, that's another kit that's scary. I think doing that kit again. Yes. There we are. Yeah, that was a good question. I like that. Uh, 18 people watching, hour and 44 minutes in. We've done everyone for sticking with us, putting up with us. Um, oh, apparently, um, Steve says uh, a one 350th HMS hood is the one that scares him, I think. That's what he's saying. Or it might be that's what he wants to buy, I'm not sure. Um... 
throwing just typing a message. That's right. So um, Kenneth has said the the one night scale is more of a nightmare rather than being scared of. Mm. Is it the one night scale that's the issue, or the producer of the product? Maybe. Uh, we've also got um, Mr. Lost Modeling uh, it says, and the B17 OFC uh, because uh, sorry, spent the summer doing over 300 kilometers work and guess what my bonus money got you, nice nice uh, oh yeah, that's something else that scares me. Anything with PE. Yeah. These big uh, fat fingers aren't too well with small PE. Yeah, I, I must admit with this, the, the Viper, it's, it's not, I, what I've done so far is fairly simple in, in most respects, but. Mm -hmm. It's gone together well, that PE, the pictures you've shown me. Yeah, it's, it didn't come out too bad, I've got to be honest. Um, I have got to the point now where I've got to try and. Um, Got to try and paint it and um, and then light it. Who <laughs> said light it? Confused man. That's Kenneth, Kenneth you, you won't set fire to that. I know you won't. Not after all that heartache that no. I put you through. You couldn't. Sorry, Sorry. I apologise again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. There must be a penance you have to do for that sort of thing, isn't there? There probably is somewhere. There probably is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you understand what I've just sent to you, good luck. You just fat, it. Yeah, fat fingers can't type, can't do nothing. <laughs> uh, Mark says there the problem with these large scales is where to keep them after you've made them. Really true. Yes, thankfully the the big scale one I'm doing that doesn't <laughs> long. To me, it's off down south once it's finished, so it won't be kept. A lot of my models I usually just give to people. So like this little jeep in a van that i built that will be off to a friend at work this one. Oh, is it yeah he's retiring this year and he likes willie's jeeps so i shall just give that to him as a a retirement present Retire present nice yeah, so he can throw it in the bin for his pleasure <laughs> <laughs> yeah put it in his box of stuff that he wants to take with him yeah yeah out to the tip. Yeah. To the tip. <laughs> oh. uh, what else have we got there? Um, yeah, so Red Brown's saying he's just started with small P on his kit. So, yeah. We wish you all the best. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we, we do have a, a PE master. Yes. That might be joining us in the uh, in these uh, shows. Like I say, we need to be the fourth member of the team. We need to give him, have a chat with him to see if he wants to actually come on and do the live show. So hopefully, he'll say yes. Uh, we shall see. And he is the PE master. Some of his PE work oh, is okay. phenomenal. Yeah. So. He walks around with PE as fingers. <laughs> you know, his, his fingertips are PE bending tools. Ah, that's, so, that's, what, it, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I knew what you meant. So a quick question to everyone that is here. There's 17 of you still watching. Um, thank you. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, uh, give us a bit of feedback. What do you think about tonight? What do you think um, is good? Maybe about the way the setup is on, the, on your screen. Uh, about the format. What you'd like to see, what you don't mm -hmm. And what you thought was bad. Yeah. We, then need we won't to. do it. Then we won't do it again. And don't say the whole thing. Yes. That'll really upset me. I'm looking at you, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> don't mention anything to do with sidecars or motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> or for that matter. 
Yes. But yeah, let us know uh, because obviously we we want to make something here which is enjoyable for you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, probably want to grab as well. So we need to know. Yes. We can't make it any better if you don't tell us. Absolutely. So. that? Okay. It's fine. <sighs> oh, there we go. Um, I can't show the message yet. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> Why has that not come up? Indeed, Steve, that was bad, yes. Yeah. So Mark is saying there. Uh, Maybe you could do a Q&A session on PE if it comes in. Indeed, yeah. yes. Yes, if, if you haven't watched this, um, yeah. I won't use the name, but if you haven't watched it yet, that, that means you, yes, and we would like to, please. Good yes, time. if you're here and, you, and you're being very quiet. Yes, just in case. Uh-huh. You know who you are. Yes. We're not going to f- point the finger. No. Much. <laughs> um... So the Red Baron is saying it seems like a good setup. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice. Oh, there you go. Look, the message mm-hmm. oh, I'm blind. Honestly, I put my 4K in today, uh, and it's it's really not working very well. Maybe I need to do a system update or something. What? <laughs> Sorry, you lost me, guys. I was just, just talking gibberish. It's what I normally do. Uh... So Mark said, I like the relaxed atmosphere of your show. Uh, nerve afraid to ask a question. Yeah, the R and the E got uh, mixed up there. I think. Never no, afraid to ask a question. No, don't be afraid to ask a question. Because at the end of the day, if we don't know the answer, we won't tell you. Because we don't yeah. know. And if we don't know the answer, we'll ask you a lot. Yes. And, and if if uh, a question if comes, you like. which we, you know, Carl feels awkward in answering, then I, I can step in and answer it for him. <laughs> Or Steve, if you see. Or Steve, him. or the mystery man. <laughs> or the mystery man. I like that's so going to be his title. The uh, <laughs> International man of mystery. Yes. Oh, now we're starting something. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, uh, Mister Love Small Awakening. Yeah, I enjoyed a bit of banter on the bench. Nice to have some something to watch, listen to while I'm at the bench. So yes, good. Thank you very much. That's the aim. Um, I think something I've learned a little bit is that um, next time I host, um, I probably will just concentrate on this and, and not because yes. it's yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, talking of hosting, just so we know, it's just so we know, I'm not going to drop you in it, don't worry. But um, the way in which we work as a group is that um, uh, we take it in terms to host, so uh, this is live on my YouTube channel this week. Uh, the next time we do it, it'll be live on someone else's. Yeah. It'll either be Steve's or my own. Um, Probably. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it, we chop around a little bit to um, do a little bit of, of uh, streaming flow on each other's channels, but the link will always go up in the Facebook group page. For yeah, all, the all four Facebook group pages. Yeah. So if you're not in the Saturday Night Crush, group search for it on you on youtube search for it on facebook and go along and join the group if you want notification why are you pointing at me oh i'm watching this in not real time <laughs> you're watching it not in real time i know yeah, i've been watching I've just been day out, which is a bit of a shame yeah <laughs> uh yeah the links for all the groups will or should be in the description for this video down below yeah. um if i haven't done it i will do it uh Oh, I don't yeah. think you can add a description into it until it's actually encoded and gone onto YouTube. So there we go. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that's that. Uh, let's catch up with the chat a little bit. Uh, so Kevin Stevens has said uh, it's been a good night. I'm happy you're back. It's been good to chill out and relax with nice, friendly people. Uh, it's such thanks, a great Kevin. yeah, thanks for that, Kevin. Yeah, Mark is saying that on the SU122 kit, he wants a bit of uh guidance on his P because there's a lot in there. So, so hopefully, yeah, we'll get him on and he can have a, a quick 
five minute chat on how he does his PE because yeah. Yeah, he's very good at it. He's very good. Um da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. What is that? Uh some shows don't I've been uh, you hip watch. I'm not sure what that's about. I've I think Mark is responding to Kevin saying some shows don't have that feeling and they have 80 plus people watching from Kevin's comment. It's been good. It's good night. It's chilled out a bit. All oh, right. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. See, my yeah. brain's just not functioning. <laughs> and there's Kenneth. Thanks, Kenneth. Once more, I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on. Now, I've got an issue with that. When, when you say presenters, that implies more than one. Oh, no. You, you, you are now tarnished with my brush. Oh, am I? Mm -hmm. I've, I've never touched an intellectuary kit. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go and buy one. I think I shall post you this one. <laughs> what in in extra bits? <laughs> yeah, the kit's built almost. Almost. <laughs> yeah, it's just just the, the tubes to put on and the uh, footrests, and that's it. It's done. And you just got to paint it. Easy. So Kenneth just said that um, aside from Fox and Chris's um, streams, of course. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah, I watched a bit of Fox today on his um, Sidewinder Saturday on the Elite. It's looking very different from when I used to play it. Um, it's a shame it's not cross-platform. That'd be pretty cool. And Mark is saying that his dog is looking for the cat that he can hear me out. And yeah, that's um, my cat. I, I threw her out a couple of hours ago because she... Um, she, <laughs> she, she's done it twice where she's, um, how do I put that? Um, she's used a tray of litter, then come to see me straight afterwards. So you go to pick her up and put her on a chair. So she got nice, nice and comfortable to the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. That's Kevin Stevens signing off. He's been at his bench since 0900. So he's going to give the wife a bit of company. Oh. Thanks for coming along, Kevin. Much appreciated. Yeah. Kevin, thanks for having me. Good. Time. Good night. Well, I'm going to jump the gun and um, I and say that uh, I think we're going to wind this up anyway. Yeah, we're coming up to two hours ourselves. So, I mean, we've got 20 people watching. So, thank you so much for everybody who's yes. join us. Much yes, it's been a fun evening. A much good, very good evening in chat. Yes, very good evening. Very interactive. So, thank you very much. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this up now. I uh, just want to say to you <laughs> that if there is anything, uh, just go, can I have my teeth back? Um, if there's anything you want us to cover or you've got some suggestions for us or ideas for us um, that would be appealing to you, obviously you've got all the formats available to you. You've got the Crash Facebook page. You've got the Model Makers, sorry, mod, Making Models facebook page the totally scale models facebook page and the model officers mess so four ways of contacting us um you know us by name anyway so you can send us a message yeah um quick one before we go red baron says what do we all think about the younger people in this hobby <sighs> the younger people in this hobby need to stop because they're better at it than i am uh <laughs> no younger people in this hobby is a great thing it's, uh, but I, I didn't get into model making until my kids were all grown up. So I never really got a chance to get them into it. So I didn't start doing this until about oh, 2016. So four years ago. So I've been doing this very long. So my kids were never interested, but it's good to see. I see a lot of uh, kids on Facebook posting their bills where they built it with the mom or the dad. And it's, it's some of the stuff's fantastic. Really, really good. Yeah, this, this yeah. Hobby is a, is a great f platform really to encourage interaction between any ages yes um yeah, we, we we're unfortunately caught up in a load of red tape and stuff for that to happen in many ways and in many places but it's also a great um um therapy issues yep. with, uh, mental health issues etc cetera, etc cetera. i certainly have got that so um mm -hmm. you know, I can speak from personal experience on that. So uh, the young people is a must. We, we need, yes. like a hobby, you need to have 
uh, the younger generation joining in. Otherwise, the hobby will fade away. I don't think there's a chance in cattail of that's going to ever happen. Um, no. I don't believe the scaremongering that sometimes runs around. Um, but with that said, uh, we, like in anything really, we need to promote the hobby so that the youngsters don't forget it's there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there we are. Yes, young people are a must for this hobby, indeed. And there are lots of young people in the hobby, so there are it's good, it's good. So, with that said, um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. We've just done, gone past the two hours. Well done, everyone. thank you very much. 16 people still watching, and um, thank you very much, very, very much appreciated. Uh, I know Steve uh, echoes what we're saying, although he's not here, yes. he's um, busy playing with Windows. Um, not licking windows, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so can wind him up, he's not here. So <laughs> anyway, so uh keep an eye on the all the streams on the, yep. the, the bits and pieces on the different pages. Uh yep. we will be with you um possibly in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. Um, but as I say, this was a, a bit of a trial run to see how we got one with the software and to announce we're coming back and to see how you guys liked it, etc. So thank you. Thank you very much for all your time. See you later. Ta-ta. Bye.